Alright, I'm back. And, uh, I apologize for not getting this, uh, covering done. Um, what's today? Tuesday. So over the weekend. But, uh, I mean, some stuff came up, and, uh, yeah. But, anyways, um, anything I wanted to say uh, nothing important just uh, there, there is there are some news I have um, not really to me but personally but uh, some other stuff I'm interested in but anyways um, let me just kind of get started but. so I'm gonna be doing the coloring this stream hopefully it's not gonna take two streams to do it it usually doesn't but uh We'll see. Let me go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So let's see. We'll do contour. This is selection tool. Just like that. This. That. This. That. That. This. And that. Alright. Should be all of his. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be red. So we go on to. No. Hmm. Okay, so let me do this then. just have to select each layer individually because these other parts of this body is not being uh, colored in for some reason which is weird let me change the playlist anyways I already talked about the uh, Ubi uh Splinter Cell Remaster that Ubisoft Toronto is going to be developing, which is good. Um, there's that. <clears throat> also, I should be changing the saturation on this. But yeah, that's weird. It's not letting me do all these at once. Let me check something. If I select this, this, oh wait, oh, that's just right, all right. Left eye, ma. Or so. Left leg, chest. And all of those dreadlocks. All right, that should be all of them. Anyways, let me change the saturation on this so I can get a better idea of what the color needs to be. That's so weird. Why is it only <laughs> doing one of the colors? Foreground? No. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to select each of them. Then. Oh, that's so weird. Maybe it has to do with the layers overlapping or underlapping each other. Oh, and I forgot. Let me do this. There we go. Okay, well, anyways, let's see. Apparently, I did not put that shadow in there. That's no bueno. Let me cancel this. Yeah, I never put that shadow in there. Uh, I guess I'll just do it later. It's aesthetically black, like really dark. A really dark shadow, so. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this then. Slightly darker here. So let's this left. A little more darker. Something like that. slightly less uh, the highlights should not be this bright here but yeah that should do it the huge contrast between the darker values here and the lighter values there that'll do it well I think I had it right earlier whoops there. Oh. Yeah, it was something like that. Move it slightly up. One more. One more. Can't tell if I'm making it better or worse. Yeah, I'm making it worse. Okay. Go back a little here. Here. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. But I did some of the values as far as putting it in certain areas incorrectly. But that's alright. Anyways, let's go ahead and. Move on. The chest. Oh, first I gotta select it. So this. Honestly, don't need my tablet pen for all this. Using my mouse. Map oh, green. This should be darker, like that. Oops. This. And a more like that. And again, there is this cast shadow there, or not cast shadow, but this uh, 
what's the word for it? I gotta look these uh, terms up again because I've forgotten some of them. But there's a little reflective light here on this surface of his um, torso. But I kind of ignored it because I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. Turns out it kind of does make a difference. But otherwise, the rest of his body looks fine. Oh, I totally forgot to do this one. Like that. Forehead. Sorry, I'm gonna get to the announcement. I mean, the not the announcements, but the news soon enough. Just uh, want to get some work done before I do that. Because then, once I start talking, I don't think I'll <clears throat> get anything done. <clears throat> to you on the news the, uh, if you know anything about that Popeye movie that Sony Animation Studio was developing back in 2014 2015 and instead of releasing that movie they released the emoji movie um, a lot of content creators said that that movie got kind of can't was canceled because uh, Sony decided to release the Emoji Movie instead. But apparently that wasn't the case. Um, turns out that the movie was still in development even after all this time. And apparently it's close to being finished or is finished and they're gonna release it sometime soon. Oops, that's the wrong layer. I mean, yeah, wrong layer. Which is good because then it means that I get to still watch it. Because I'm a big fan of Popeye. Okay, I wouldn't say big fan, but I'm a fan. I've seen some bigger fans and uh, yeah, I don't think I would go to the same lengths they would. Let me do that. Well, no. Still be slightly dark. Yeah, like that. Not too dark. Just darker. Yeah, like that. That should be pretty bright. So that's some good news, and I look forward to you watching it. Um, let me think, what else? I mean, that was the only other bit of news I had, but uh, I thought there was something I wanted to talk about. All right, um, the, all the other people that have been showing up lately to the gym I go to. I'm pretty sure this uh, is true for other gyms because this was true for the recreational center and uh, at the university I went to. Also, uh, sorry about that. Apparently I never did raise the volume back up. Anyways, um, All right, I've already got it open. Uh, what was I saying? All right, all the new people that have been showing up to the gym lately. Um, 
I don't really have a problem with having more members in any location I go to, but, you know, for hobbies or whatever, but I admit, let's put it this way, there's only so much equipment in the gym, right? And if we have more members, that means there's less equipment to go around for everyone, right? And while I'm not discouraging anyone from showing up to a gym, <laughs> even though I kind of, the more I talk, the more it sounds like it. But, um, nevertheless, though, so, uh, the more people that show up to the gym, the, again, the less equipment that goes around. So that means, um, people that, like me, who normally have to use specific equipment in the gym, don't really have access to it anymore. <laughs> And thus, we're having to make do with whatever else we can get our hands on. Uh, I think that's pretty close. What? What's it right? I think it's slightly darker. Yeah, okay. And, uh... By all means, don't stop going to the gym if you're those uh, new resolutioners I'm just gonna call them noobs from now on instead of just saying new resolu new resolution people or new resolutioners I'm just gonna call them noobs for short but uh yeah I mean if you're a noob and you're going to the gym looking to make some change in life because it is a lifestyle change right you are literally changing the way you live when you decide to commit to athleticism and fitness and health and all that um just be uh considerate of the other members and uh be considerate of the other members uh take good care of the equipment because <laughs> Some gyms just can't don't have make enough money to replace equipment um, frequently, and anything else. If you need any advice or help with something um, related to what you're struggling with, don't be afraid to ask. I mean, normally most long-term members, such as myself, don't talk to anyone else. Unless, you know, we got someone there that we know from work or what have you. Um, but yeah, if you uh, want to know about something, how something works, or how to improve on something, then don't be afraid to ask. I know it's a little intimidating to ask because you might look like... You might look stupid or something in front of other people, but that's really not the case. Like most people who go to the gym, especially long-term members, did not know nowhere near as much as they do now. Um, I mean, I I can personally um, vouch for that because the training for about 10 years now bodybuilding for 10 years and I still uh, I was struggling to do a pull up for a good long while for the last what two or three years and it, was, it wasn't until last year that I got some uh, I got a personal trainer to show me how to work on doing um, assistive pull-ups to you know, work my way up to do a pull-up uh, without assistance that's when I was able to make a lot more progress towards my goal does that look right? hold on yeah it does because I made that completely solid okay 
Yeah. I wouldn't say there are any specific rules that are not listed in the gym. Um, that the gym owners provide, or the staff members that, prov that uh, provide. Um, any unwritten rules besides just, again, uh, take a cookie, good care of the equipment. Um, just don't be a douche. <laughs> Like, that's, it's really not that hard. Um, if you're sick, I don't mean if you have COVID. I mean if you have the sniffles or you're coughing and such. If you are going to decide to go to the gym anyways, uh, make sure you're wearing a face mask. I know I hate wearing a face mask when I'm working out, but I'll do it anyways if I'm sick. Because I know that if I don't, I'm just going to get the... Equipment covering germs with my hands and my mouth and all that and cause other members to be sick and not be able to go to the gym. So it just becomes a chain reaction you don't want to start and get uh, everyone mad at you for. Not that that's ever happened to me. You know, I've I haven't had anybody get mad at me specifically for that, but definitely don't be the first person I know that has. Do that. To be darker. I like that. I think that should be brighter. The highlight. bother making content related to that I'm, like, I'm not gonna make a video explaining some simple stuff that people should already know even before they step take the first step inside a gym like you know I just listed them earlier right I mean dropping the weights is not that big of a deal if say you're using a trap bar deadlifting trap bar right and you're using the 45 pound plates I mean there's not really much you can do if you're a short guy and <laughs> you're using really big plates and you know you're trying to set them down they're gonna make a bunch of noise and you know you might have to uh, get a little rough with the uh, dropping not dropping but setting down the but you know that trap bar but I mean if you can help it yeah just don't be like doing overhead presses and then just like toss it into the air on your last like rep and just let it fall to the floor like that because you know that might break the bar let's see um uh, was the left like yeah, there it is. Oh, that works. It's pretty spot on. Yeah, I think it might be time to increase the values on my color palette. I think by double what I got now. Yeah, this should be a little smoother. Well, not this specifically, but this here should be more gradual. This should have some reflective light there. I mean, that, that shadow there, that was just me not paying attention. That's all. But yeah. Yeah, don't take what I say as me implying that you shouldn't go to the gym at all if you don't know these things. Just uh, 
It's fine if you make a mistake or whatever. It happens, right? Just, uh... <clears throat> don't let it be a habit, as my point. <clears throat> and if, we, if you want some... Sorry. Sorry, I just woke up, so my throat and my nose is clearing up, but... If you want some really basic advice, um, as for um, making fitness and athleticism a lifestyle change, this is pretty much what most other people are going to tell you, but, I mean, if you're going to hear it from me, this is what I would say. Just show up consistently, show up frequently, because consistency and frequency are two different things. And always try to improve on everything you do. And what I mean by that is if your form is not correct and you're suffering from joint issues or tendonitis then you know again don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to look it up on youtube the correct way to do certain movements with certain equipment like i mean that's where i learned the majority of my information from was at the next and well that's about it really it was just athlean x so let me go back let me reset this <clears throat> there we go yeah athlean x is a good channel to uh, learn how to do movements correctly and work on specific goals it's not going to be that end all be all though Unfortunately, you're still gonna have to do the work, but it's a good starting place if you want to learn on your own anyways how to do stuff and how things work. Jeff Nippert is slowly, well not slowly, but it, over time Jeff Nippert has also been a good source of information if you want a more analytical approach to how um, sports science works. And, uh, yeah. I show up consistently, show up frequently. Um, always improve, or, you know, strive to improve on everything you do. And that's just not what you do in the gym. It's also what you do outside of the gym as well. So that means nutrition, um, and that means And that means having to eat differently, uh, improve your uh, nutritional intake. And that also means lowering your calories. I know here in the West, we tend to eat a lot of, uh, we take a lot of calories in, let's just put it that way. And I mean, there's no real reason to. Um, it's different if you're, you're still gaining a whole lot of weight and you're still really heavy, despite being at a caloric deficit, that just means that you're, and you're bodybuilding on top of that, that just means that you're just naturally heavy. Like, that's just your genetics. It's just nothing you can do to change that. I know for guys, that doesn't really mean anything because for some reason, guys like to be heavy. Um, but when it comes to chicks though, like, I mean, if you're weighing, nearly 200 or at around 200 pounds but you've been bodybuilding consistently frequently for you know, a year or two and you've been uh working on your nutrition making sure that you're at a caloric deficit i mean there's not really much else you can do at that point that's just your genetics um 
dictating how much you weigh at that point. So, and of course there's sleep. I know, especially for me, it can get really difficult to sleep consistently, so. Just do your best to get six to eight hours of sleep. Um, again, just like in the gym, as consistently and as frequently as you can each day, every day. But I know that's not impossible for most people. I know that wasn't possible for me back in college. So, totally understandable if uh, that's not reasonably reasonable thing to ask. Oh, I just realized I messed up. Hold on. I should have just selected the iris. I don't know why I selected the pupil on top of that. That's weird. What can you do to you? There we go. Yeah, I mean, I don't have really much else to say. Anything else that I would say is the same stuff that someone on YouTube or a personal trainer trainer would say. And yeah, there's not really much else to it. It's difficult because it literally changes your life in terms of your schedule, the way you eat, the way you move, and it has a mental side of side of things as well because you'll have to be a lot more knowledgeable about sports science human anatomy yeah nutrition um might even have to do a lot of cooking so if you never cooked before uh you'll have to learn cooking as a skill and so on and so forth The good thing is, is that nowadays there are a lot of food products out there that are specifically catered towards fitness people or athletes, not professional athletes, but just athletes, people that, you know, have this kind of lifestyle and that's a good thing because uh, that makes those products are meant to make some stuff easier. For example, whey protein. I mean, that's been around since I think the 80s or 70s, but I mean, just think about all the people that had to body build even before that. And, you know, that wasn't a thing, right? There was whey, right? Whey is a product of milk, but there was no whey protein, right? There was no convenient way of storing it or uh, using it. So, I didn't match it. No, dude. A lot of pre cooked meals that are specifically low calorie but high protein. I mean, those are, those may um, increase inflammation, just like any other manufactured food, but, you know, if uh, that's all you can't eat, because you don't have time to cook like me, then, hey, I mean, that's better than nothing. It's better than dirty bulking, that's for sure. I mean, as far as dirty bulking goes, I don't really see any point in it nowadays. Oh, that's the wrong layer. Is it? Oh. That's weird. Yeah, that's the wrong layer. Okay, I was wondering why I wasn't changing.
mean, to me, if you want to dirty bulk or if you just want to bulk up and get to a certain weight, again, I don't see any point in doing that because you can still get strong and be lean at the same time. Unless you're trying to enter into some sort of competition, in which case you have to be at a certain weight class, and if you're too um, light and you're not meeting the weight, then only then I would understand. Yeah, you know, I could I could accept the fact that yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to get heavier. But otherwise, most people don't have any reason, don't have that reason, they just, um, for, usually it comes from skinny guys, right, and they want to get heavier for some reason, I don't know, I don't get it, like why? If you can lift as much as a heavy dude, and be that thin, like why honestly would you want to be 50, 25, 50 pounds heavier? just to achieve the same goal. I don't, I don't understand that. And this is coming from a guy that weighs 245 pounds. I mean, I'm not fat. You know, I'm pretty uh, lean for a guy that weighs that much, but still though, I mean, it just baffles me that some, some guys just want to get this heavy. Just like, why? The only reason why I can't do pull-ups is because I weigh this much in the first place. If I was lighter, I'd be already be able to do pull-ups easily. This needs to be slightly more blue. Like that. I just don't get it, but hey, I mean, I'm not a skinny, you know, tall dude. I mean, I'm average height for, you know, Western people. <laughs> Nearly six foot, and again, I'm about 245 pounds right now, so I'm not thin. I'm definitely not light, but at the same time, though, I'm not. Let's put it this way I don't dirty bulk. Like,. Eddie Hall and yeah, I mean like Eddie Hall. Not anymore, anyways. I used to do that earlier last year at around yeah April, April May. But then I realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm not getting enough protein by doing this. And on top of that, this is making it got harder to do the assisted pull-ups, so I had to cut back, you know, just had to stop. And if you're wondering how much I weighed before, when I started, I was about 200 pounds. So, yes, I did gain weight over last year, but it is only through mostly muscle mass. It's not because I gained a bunch of fat along the way. I do what a lot of other professional bodybuilders do. Just, uh, let me check. Eat lean meats, tuna, chicken, um, pork, eggs, drink a lot of milk, stuff like that. But, you know, more or less now I don't like do it overboard with it anymore I usually eat what like around somewhere between a thousand and thousand five hundred calories per meal so my caloric deficit is still pretty pretty much up there it gets to a point where sometimes I struggle to even have enough calories to make it through my shifts because I'm not eating enough uh, calories, simply put. The lean meats I eat just don't have a whole lot of fat or carbs in them. So I usually have to eat some peanuts or 
sunflower seeds to make up for it. Just snack on that throughout the shift. It's a balancing act. And if you slip up, you can end up five pounds heavier in a matter of days. And it sucks because when trying to do a pull up or any other calisthenic movement like a pike push up or you know handstand push up, then the heavier you are, the harder it's gonna be. It's like trying to do a bicep curl with a barbell, right? But every time you eat and you eat a bunch of calories, you end up, that barbell becomes five or 10 pounds heavier with each rep, if that makes sense. So, hence that's why I just don't understand why anyone would want to be this heavy. I can tell you right now, the uh, other students at the BJJ, BJJ gym I go to, they don't appreciate it because that means they have to work harder to break my grip or sweep me or get me down to the mat if we're standing up and take me down. Yeah, most people just don't don't really appreciate a heavy dude unless of course they're moving stuff around for them or carrying big stuff for them then that's when they won't mind but otherwise like and when i say heavy i don't mean fat like i mean chubby like i said a lot of those professional bodybuilders especially they're going to be weighing shoot like 250 pounds at least maybe even 300 pounds minimum those guys are pretty lean and yet they weigh that much that's what i'm saying like you know what's the point of getting heavy like, i just don't understand it it's like some weird fetish 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 sexualization or not sexualization like let's just call it obsession it's a weird obsession towards having that much weight for guys that want to take bodybuilding seriously it's just like no you don't have to be that heavy that messed that up honestly the grisai layer just looks better than what the computer can do Yeah, let me move this around. No, oh, it's too dark. Too dark. That's slightly better. Let me move this here. There. better yeah. I don't think there's much else I can say about this matter just uh, take don't take everyone's advice just uh, you know make sure you fact check who you're getting your information from uh, definitely check out the science behind stuff it does make things easier to understand um, I mean, that's why I recommend checking out Jeff Nippert and Jeff Cavalier from Athlean X. 
they they typically uh, talk about the science behind things. Another good um, channel to check out is the Bioneer, because he, he especially goes into not just explaining how sports science works, but also the possibilities of the human body. So, I'm one of those people that I like to get, uh, get really bored with doing the same mundane routine over and over again. I mean, check his channel out and I notice you might uh, try some of this stuff out too. I should make this, uh, let me redo this because this doesn't look right. This is supposed to be more for a shoe. Shoes, I should say. So let me add one. We'll do. Apparently I was me and myself, but uh, I was explaining that what I'm trying to do is make a lighter um, peach color, orangish color, match this. <clears throat> so let's do that. Let's flip this around. Here is make this dark. Let's see. Um, Cancel that. Use this. Okay. 
and save this. Yep, there we go. If I select now, there it is. Alright, that looks a lot closer to what his moss should look like. That's the thing though, it should be brighter up here, so... What I'm gonna do is... That... This here... This here... You know what, I'm just going to move all these out of the way. Let's start over. Put this over here. The middle. And what's going to be here is very bright. Oh, let me just put white. That'll do it. Now if I... Add one here, add one here, 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 and here. And update. If I wanted to, I can just move all of these up to make it darker. Well, not all of these. Huh? Huh? I guess all of these. <clears throat> I'm seeing close. Let's put another one. Hmm. Really close. One more. I think that'll do it. Let me see what happens if I add one more. That looks a little too dark. Yeah, no, that should do it. So let's click OK. <clears throat> and then since I have this whole moss selected, I can just select the other cheat layer. And just do the same thing here. Enter map, radiant map. So <clears throat> I thought I updated this. <sighs> okay, hold on. I guess what I'm gonna do instead is just... I'm just gonna add it. Come it down here. Delete this one. And it's like this one. There we go. That's easier. Easier work workaround when Frida doesn't want to delete something properly. Let's see. Um, it should definitely be a little more older. That's weird. Not even updating. That's weird. Maybe it just needs more. No, it doesn't need that. Needs another one. Okay, now it's changing. Just really, really bright. Which means this should probably go all the way over here. There we go. One more. Yeah. Lower it down a little bit. There we have it. Let's 
this was not done very well, but eh. Ooh. Anything else? There's just a crescent. And I think that's it. The nose will pretty much stay the same because there's no other values in it. Same with this crescent, but I'm gonna do the crescent anyways. Just to see what would happen. Oops, forgot to change the layer. change it at all. No it didn't. Okay. In my case I'm just gonna leave it alone. Same with the nose, I'll just leave the nose alone as well. I think that's it. The only other thing I'll have to do is change the background color because if you can't see it, when I zoom out, Frida, because this color of the background is the same as the color outside of the canvas, it's having to make this white outline show me where the canvas is so it's gonna help Krita out and just change the background color might change it to something hmm think I've already done cyan maybe I'll do blue since Sonic's in the background there Let's see. Nice blue. It's a little more on the cyan side. Up here. And then. There we go. Alrighty. The outline of his iris is black. And I made them red, but that's all right. This isn't supposed to be a one-to-one -one copy of the reference image, despite my best efforts. Uh, AMD, I just don't understand it. You say I have hockey's turned off, and then every time I restart my, I mean, turn off and turn on my PC, it just turns the hotkeys back on again for some reason. Even though I go into the settings and it says it's off. There we go. All right. Um, do I want to spend an extra stream cleaning this up? I mean, if I did the layers, you use the layers correctly, I honestly shouldn't have to. Let me check. Krita? Okay. For some reason I lost control of it. I mean, besides the blatant need to have a bigger grayscale to add more values onto the rounded surfaces of his body, like his chest, his hips, and his forehead. I mean, this isn't too bad. Yeah, again, I missed that shadow there. That's... I, don't, I have no idea how I missed that. Because I got the shadow down here. Which doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's check. Everything's pretty much filled in, but as I said, I can just easily um, make separate layers. Oh, actually, 
Yeah, that's a no-no. What about the other eye? Well, the other eye's not. It's not that problem. Ma. Yeah, I mean... Besides that... Not really anything else for me to do. In fact, I could probably just clean that up right now. There we go, that fixed that issue. There's still some of it missing here. Uh, and there's this as well. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna promise uh, another stream of this drawing, but if I do, I'll just spend it cleaning this up. I feel like this is just only a few minutes worth of work. It might not be worth spending a whole hour just streaming me doing that. Anyways, um, stream is ending though, that's for sure. So yeah, um, I might just do this during my free time. I might even do it immediately after the stream ends and just clean this up a bit. There's really not much to it. It's so small too, like you can barely see it if you zoom out. You actually have to be zooming in in order for it to, uh, in order to see it. Let me see if I can actually, hold on. Let me save it as a PNG. Okay, now let me go into OBS and open it up here. I'm just curious. I want to see, I want to know exactly how, how much that's actually going to matter. Just do that. Down here. Where are you? Images, there it is. Okay, yeah, the size is really big, but let me just decrease that. I make it the same, whoops, same size as the image here.
Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's let me just see what it looks like in the stream. Because if I if I can barely see it, or if I can't see it hardly at all, then I'm just gonna upload it as it is. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Even when it was enlarged like that, I could still barely see it. Like I said, you would have to actually be zooming in looking for mistakes like that in order to find them. I mean, look at that. You can barely see any of those issues I was having, or that I made. Lil Ma. Yeah. I mean, the, not the Lil Ma, the, uh, what's it called? Empty spaces that were in the Ma. You can't see them at all. The empty space on the side of his forehead as well. That's barely visible. I mean, besides, again, missing values, that's uh, that's pretty obvious. But you would actually have to actually be looking at the reference image in order to compare it. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to upload it like this. Uh, I'm not going to care. All right. Let me just delete that. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to upload it like that. I'll just have to do better at filling in empty spaces because I'm still using the selection tool. But the problem with the selection tool is it will select up to a pixel away from another color or value or what, what have you. So. It's not perfect, but it definitely does make things a lot faster and easier to do. But anyways. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, upload then and work on the next drawing uh, for the, during the next stream. So, yeah. More to come. Um, but it seems like I'm actually going to finish this project sometime this year. Anyways, until next time. Peace.